After having to call off a vote on the American Health Care Act, otherwise known as either Trump Care or Ryan Care, Paul Ryan's speakership has received a crippling blow. Already conservative media voices are calling for the speaker's head and suggesting names of possible replacements. Indeed, speakers have lost their jobs for far less. However, while Ryan has been wounded by the healthcare fight, the blow appears not to be mortal. Firstly, Trump appears not to be laying the blame at the speaker's feet. Chief of Staff Rince Priebus and Health Secretary Tom Price seem to be in the firing line along with the Freedom Caucus members who sunk the bill. But even if Trump does come to the position of several White House aides, including Steve Bannon, that Ryan should be blamed for the defeat, Ryan's departure from the speakership won't be immediate. Paul Ryan gets to keep his job for one very good reason. The debt ceiling. Essentially, as of March 15 this year, the debt ceiling was put back into place, meaning that the US government cannot borrow more money without increasing the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling is approximately $19.9 trillion, and the US Treasury still has cash in the bank, but the cash is going to run out, meaning that the government shutdown is just a few months away unless Trump can get Congress to raise the limit once more. This is where Paul Ryan comes in. Getting the votes to lift the limit will not be easy. The hard right conservatives will demand drastic cuts to cut the budget before supporting any bill, and those same cuts could alienate the support of moderates. Watching the debate over the debt ceiling could give you deja vu of the debate between Republicans about the repeal of Obamacare. Democrats this time, however, will be willing to work with Trump, but their demands may only be acceptable to the most moderate of Republicans. In short, it could be a complete nightmare. So, why keep Ryan? Two reasons. First of all, if negotiations aren't looking likely to succeed, Trump can throw him to the wolves. Installing a speaker more palatable to conservatives could help ensure the bill's passage through the House, even if they don't particularly like having to increase the debt ceiling. Secondly, if you were to replace Ryan now, a new speaker would have to deal with this ticking time bomb of an issue in the future. Any replacement could be handicapped or politically wounded by their first legislative battle, just like Ryan has been wounded by his first legislative defeat over healthcare. Better to let Ryan cross the minefield first. If he gets blown up, well, at least he's cleared the way for his successor. And if he succeeds, well, all conservatives have to do is wait for a little bit of time before they find an opening to topple him. From a realpolitik point of view, replacing Ryan before the debt ceiling debate makes no sense. So while the healthcare failure has damaged Ryan, his leadership isn't in jeopardy quite yet. Thanks for listening to Black Swan Politics. Don't forget to like and subscribe.